Surprisingly, that simple mathematical expression expresses all kinds of one-dimensional wave that can exist in the world. Okay? Simple mathematical expression represent all possible one-dimensional wave that can exist in the world. Now, because this represents all kinds of wave that can exist, then our job would be analyzing this to get the things we do not know. Because we have mathematical expression, then we can use any mathematical operator or tool in general to understand what we do not know yet. For example, what if we differentiate this mathematical expression with respect to time? That means dy dt is the velocity in y direction. What about the spatial slope of this one dimensional wave? That is dy dx. What is the relation between dy dx and dy dt? That sort of thing. We can perform using differential operator. Or we might try to use integration operator to see what physically means. For example, what about the energy that propagates in the string? What the energy, does energy really propagate with a string with the speed of sound C? And so on. That can be done by using integral operator. So, having this expression is very important because that is the starting point to explore the unknown physical meaning. That sort of things we are going to do all the way in this lecture. Okay? Physical phenomena try to express mathematically and dig out the physical meaning that possesses in the mathematical expression and then generalize it and then explore the physical meaning we do not know yet using this expression on and on on and on and I hope you can do the similar things when you do your homework Okay. Let's investigate some of the special case. In other words, what if y x t is harmonic, as I demonstrate, sine and cosine? Okay. For example, if y x t is sine x minus ct. Okay. But x minus ct has a dimension of length. The sine cannot take it. So we need some constant that can make the argument 
of a sine to be radian. So let's say that is k. We don't know what is a k yet. And assume that displacement is capital Y. And then we may say there will be a some initial phase. Okay, that is the the wave propagating in space, but has a shape of a sine. The sine wave is propagating in the positive x direction. Okay, if I operate this function by multiplying k, then kx minus kct plus phi. Obviously, the kc has to be what? The KC has to express the rate of change with respect to time. And that is in radian, that is radian frequency, and often we express that as omega. So we found that KC equal to omega. Just to pick up the simple example, harmonic case. And then I just realize that we need K. And then we found new stuff. Isn't it surprising? Isn't it surprising? When you, when you, when you think of some new things, you always end up with having new findings. Okay? So Kc equal omega. In other words, K that we defined is omega over C. But what is a K? Obviously that is not the same as the spring constant you learned in mechanical vibration. That express Something related with the space. Because omega, this is omega, expresses the rate of change of frequency. And it, right. How fast it change? Then it must, similar in similar token, must express how fast it changes with respect to time. Right? That we call wave number. Or propagation constant. 